Mobile is, is ramping faster than, uh, than any other technology ramp we've seen in the past. What took the desktop internet 10 years has taken the mobile internet about five years. Our bet is that we're starting to see an acceleration in, that, in, in the number of mobile, um, mobile internet users. And the majority of people will be accessing the internet from mobile devices versus desktop devices probably within the next, the next few years. One of the biggest surprises about uh, mobile devices has been the acceptance and rapid usage of mobile video. And the data that's come out from uh, the ISPs and uh, companies like Netflix is that the, the numbers in YouTube, the numbers in, in hours and percent of use of video usage on mobile devices, whether it's tablets or smartphones, has blown everybody away in, in its volume. Mom is in bed watching a movie. Dad is in bed watching sports. Son is in bed watching, so watching soccer, daughter in bed in her room watching, doing something else. And the personalization aspect, the, people, the fact that people can watch what they want when they want it uh, is a great opportunity, I think, for, for video and consumers are, are using it far more aggressively than we would have expected. When new platforms are created, uh, typically the first products that get the most traction are gaming products and they're usually very simple and easy to use. One of the products is a product called Angry Birds. Uh, shockingly, 125 years of time is spent playing Angry Birds every day. If I compare mobile at the mobile advertising market circa 2011 with the desktop internet market circa 1997, call it two years after the launch of the Netscape browser, um, advertisers are jumping to it much faster. Every senior employee at the company every week should go to um, a series of mobile devices, whether it's an Android device or an iPhone or an iPad or a Nokia device or a, a Blackberry, and test out their own user experience to make sure it's effective and good. And if they don't like using it, then their customers aren't gonna like using it. So the first thing is to, is to actually get on the platform uh, and then, then experiment. One is Zipcar. The fact that you can, um, you can find a car and go to the car and unlock the car with your smartphone just never ceases to amaze me. Uh, and another one is the Priceline app, the fact that you can shake, shake the phone and get a low price hotel uh, near where you are. It's just, they're just, they're, 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 they're older apps, um, and, but they're, I think they're especially innovative.